And Jack, I gave you nothing but respect. I never disrespected you, sir, up until now. And even last night when we was texting, I said, bro, you just need to apologize. I told you how it made you look. You still want to play gangster. Okay. The text you sent me, I could get you arrested. I, uh, and I told you you were done. See what I'm saying? That's why I didn't apologize on the YouTube video. I know like you. I grew up with like you. Like you is the ones who kill mama's son, allegedly, before they get out. Or you have them killed, allegedly. Like you, with that effeminate tongue that can't respect nobody. Just like you hurt more than anybody. White people ain't hurting nobody. Another white per a white man has never talked to me like you've talked to me in the past couple of days. And then put a threat on me. A white man ain't threatening me. You've been joking on me for 20 years. I joke on you for a couple of days that you asked for the jokes. And now I got to be caught in traffic with my son in the car. But y'all say it's the white people I should fear, but it's my own kind doing all the killing here. Tupac was right then, and he right now. You need to stop blaming white folks. You're sick in the inside. The main ones out there making all that noise, hooting and hollering for black people, disagree with them, and watch what they do to you. Watch what they try to do. Watch what they say to you. Watch how they talk to you, black man. Just disagree with them, and watch how they talk to you. Candace Owens black, and I ain't heard a person sat down and had a healthy dialogue with this woman yet. I watched them put this woman up on the stage, and she's a black woman, but she ain't the black woman that you want to hear from. But she makes some valid points that I would like to hear someone challenge and argue with just the point and not the person. If what I'm saying is wrong, educated people should be able to be emotionally strong enough to sit there and hear somebody's point. You teaching at colleges to not like people. That's not the debates that I used to see. When I grew up, a debate was about the, the content, the message. You see, two people say their point of view, and we see who got the most facts in it. Now, as soon as a person walks in the room, ah, shit, who the fuck is that? How you get him out of here? Call 911. Oh, my God. Oh, almost there. Almost made it. You ain't going to make it through life. If that's what you got to do, the f*** is wrong with you? The sight of a person does that to you? You fragile son of a b You need to carry your ass somewhere and go get some help. You mother college kids that's acting like that, that's why they probably sent Stephen H. and them to college to help brainwash y'all and let y'all know uh, that y'all not great because y'all are some great mother and how you become great is you let other people challenge the things that you're saying. You don't just sit in no damn bubble and think you're the baddest, smartest mother. Imagine that. Imagine we never got to see uh, Mike Tyson challenge himself against another person. Imagine us seeing Mike Tyson just hit the bag all quick like he was doing. But we never got to see him up against somebody else. If you think you a bad mother, you standing on what you're saying. Quit crying about who's saying it. 